Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Madden cheese as always. Or should I say 2K fans today? Because today I'm going to be touching on both topics. Madden 22 and NFL 2K22. Which, unfortunately, does not exist anymore. Uh, as uh, There was a very major press release last night that basically stated that uh, NFL 2K22 uh, is pretty much cancelled. Um, or at least delayed. That's what they're calling it right now. I'll read you guys the exact press release and i'll let you guys surmise on your own what you think it means but ultimately i think this is a very bad look for uh for 2k and it really makes me question if uh there will ever be a 2k uh madden game um and i'll go ahead and i don't want to i don't want to you know push my own narrative too much but i'll read you guys this press relief or at least this excerpt uh which i think um is like i said it's pretty troubling so right off the bat while we are very excited to once again be working with the nfl and the nfl pa our first title under this new partnership is no longer expected to be released during the fiscal year 2022 now a lot of people are saying that um you know i, I don't know we're in 2021 right now so when i hear that precise wording 2022 during the fiscal year 2022 I don't know, maybe we're in the fiscal year of 2022 right now. I don't really, I don't own a business to the point where I'm that in the know. But people are saying that this basically means that there won't be a football game at least until April of 2022. Now, I'm confused because it says during the year 2022. I mean, these, these uh, whoever wrote this, these corporations don't, they don't mince words. They don't, uh, they say exactly what they mean. They choose their wording very precisely. So when I see it says during the fiscal year of 2022, it makes me think that that's next year. So is this game being delayed one season or possibly two years? Uh, either way, that's very problematic when it comes to NFL 2K's new business relationship with the NFL. Because if you guys don't know, when, when the, uh, when EA, um, you know, about a decade ago, uh, bought the exclusive rights to the NFL and the NFL PA likeness and all that stuff to the point where they basically cut 2K out for a decade um, because 2K at that time was making a new game uh, and it was selling really well. It was giving Madden a lot of competition. They basically decided to just go in there and write a bigger check for exclusive rights. That's basically how that translates. So essentially, uh, they EA went in and said, look, we'll write you a big fat check to the point where you can't, uh, you know, nobody else is allowed to touch the this property so that's how they basically bought out the nfl and bought out uh any competition so with that being said now that it's to the point where once again going into madden 22 going into this nfl football season they no longer have exclusive rights one should be able to surmise without knowing the contract details that if they're not exclusive to ea anymore the ea is probably not paying as big of a check anymore they're probably not uh paying as much to the nfl and to the nfl pa based off the fact that now NFL 2K is expected to also be selling a game and providing the NFL with uh, profits from that game. So based off of that fact, somebody's losing money. That's basically how, how I'm saying this in a roundabout way, whether it's going to be 2K, uh, who sounds they're probably in a contract with the NFL now, based off the fact that going into this upcoming season, they were expected to have a game being sold and, you know, either profits or whatever being sent to the NFL. So based off the fact that they fell flat on their face and they couldn't get a game out in time, the NFL is probably going to take the position that we're under contract. That's not our problem. So, like I said, a lot of this is my own personal speculation. I don't want to say that this any of this is news, but it's just the reality of things. The NFL... Is not they're probably not getting as much money from EA anymore based based off the fact that it's no longer exclusive. So they're expecting to get money from two different places, and one of those places is saying, "Hey, we don't have a game to sell." Now they might take the position that that's not our problem. We have a contract. Just because you couldn't hold up your end of the bargain, that doesn't mean that we should expect less money this year, which is typical. I would imagine most companies would take that stance. 2K is then in a position where they either have to maybe drop the license altogether, or maybe perhaps. Uh, uh, they just fit the bill. They just have to take profits from the NBA, which I doubt they have enough left over because the NFL is a much bigger corporation than the NBA is, uh, especially when it comes to finances. I mean, the NBA, I think that's, I don't want to speculate. I'll try to Google that while I'm reading this, but I know the NFL is somewhere in the $15 billion 
uh, a year range, uh, which is how much money they make. And to try to do business with a with something that big, I'm sure it costs a pretty penny. The NBA looks like it's about half of that, which is about $8 billion. So I really doubt that 2K has enough money lying around left over that they can afford to pay the NFL with their revenue or with their profits from their other games and their other licenses to keep that license with the NFL. So this is something that, to me, could put the entire NFL 2K thing in jeopardy. And I don't think I'm reading into it too much when I think that, because ultimately, this is something that's a really big problem. Somebody's going to be losing money this year, and if it goes for two years, somebody's going to be losing money for two years. Whether it's 2K, which probably couldn't afford to fit that bill, or the NFL, who's probably going to be pissed off that they're getting less money from a revenue source that they've been you know, relying on for the last decade or more with EA, uh, is something that, you know, it's obviously going to come to a head at some point. I really doubt that both sides of this, uh, you know, are going to just be cool with it. Like, hey, man, give give me the money when you give me the money. It's fine. I know you're good for it. I don't really think that anybody operates like that, especially when you're talking millions to billions of dollars, which is what these companies are basically uh, swapping over these type of video games. I mean, you have to remember, this is something that, you know, it, it's 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 a contract. It's based on deadlines. It's not like, you know, 2K is just making a game that they came up with. You know what I mean? They can make it at their own time, at their own leisure. No, they have to make it based off of the NFL's schedule so they can get the NFL its money at the time that it's needed. So to be pushed back a year or even two, which, like I said, I'm not even 100% sure how to read into that, that's a very big issue. So... Um, you know, it's something that the NFL might ultimately maybe want to look back on. Who knows? There could be, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if there if there's a legal battle over over this, uh, you know, going forward. Um, but just based off of that press release alone, I mean, I'm sure it's very disappointing for NFL fans that want a different NFL experience. But at the same time, I mean, you know, based off of what I'm reading, a lot of people are saying they might not expect a game until April of 2022 or, you know, something like that, which I don't even really understand. Ultimately, there's no point in putting out a video game that late. It's after the NFL season. There's not going to be much of a market for it. I would imagine that at the very earliest, you might see a 2K game next year, maybe in September. But like I said, that's an entire year of some sort of lost revenue by the NFL and the NFL Players Association. They're not going to be happy about that. So maybe it'll get to a point where they just say, you know what, we're, we're, we made a mistake. We need to go back on what we were doing here and just go right back to EA because EA has at least been consistent. Say what you want about the product's quality as a whole. They at least have a game out every year and they at least get the NFL and the NFL PA their money, which at the end of the day is all anybody really cares about when it comes to these video games. They're not, you know, they're not purists like we are that just like to play a fun game. They don't care. They just want their money. So at the end of the day, that's pretty much the, the issue we're looking at. I also wanted to talk about, um, you know, Madden 22, their release date, uh, which is also something that's been, you know, there's been a lot of, there hasn't been a lot of uh, noise coming out from EA either, which makes me wonder when we're going to get a game uh, from EA. Now, I don't think that you can expect them to cancel or delay uh, Madden anytime soon. And especially since pretty much every year, uh, a lot of what you get when it comes to uh, Madden content is a, it just seems like the same game with a, a roster update and maybe a, new, a couple of new features. Uh, but it's still pretty suspicious that there hasn't been a lot of word about that. The only real information that we do have as far as new stuff from EA when it comes to Madden 22 is that this year's uh, EA Play Live is going to be held on July 22nd, which is almost a month after last year's, over a month after last year's, which was held on June 18th in 2020. This will be held on June 22nd in 2021, which is, you know, for one thing, they've been pushing back the release date of Madden over the last couple of years, which is something that typically they used to actually move up. Now it's getting moved back, which makes me wonder um, if the EA Play Live, which is typically when they have... Um, you know, the first, uh, a lot of gameplay stuff comes out then. If that's being held so late in the year, it really makes me wonder. I mean, that's almost August right there. So I, I think you can definitely say that um, this year's Madden release 
will probably be a September release. Uh, the NFL as a whole continues to make the NFL preseason less and less of a thing based off the fact that they're pretty much trying to do away with preseason as a whole and expand the NFL schedule. So it seems like EA is following suit and they're no longer, it doesn't look like they're in a position where they're really trying, they used to try to release this at the beginning of the uh, the preseason. They used to try to capitalize on the excitement of football coming back. It seems like now uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they release it towards the same release date as the NFL, maybe like a week before the NFL uh, starts its actual schedule, not the actual, um, you know, maybe they release it on the Thursday, the same day that, uh, you know, Tom Brady is going to be playing the Cowboys this year and it, it, with the official opening of the season. So I don't really think, based off of the late release of, uh, or the late uh, scheduled EA Play Live, and that's typically when they start the ball rolling with uh, you know gameplay coming out and trailers and all that stuff. It really makes me think that we're probably not going to get an EA uh, Madden game until September or very at the very least late August, um, considering that timeline. So there's nothing uh, solid when it comes to release date yet. I'll try to make a video on that when it happens. But for people that were hoping NFL 2K would come in to save the day, this is not a good day for your prospects. This is not the uh, this is not a moment that people were hoping to hear. As it looks like uh, NFL 2K is in some serious jeopardy, in my opinion. I mean, I think this is something we can't really we can't read too much into it yet, based off the fact that there's so little information out there. But somebody's losing money, and whenever that happens. Uh, heads roll, and I think that this could be the the, the perfect opportunity for um, you know the NFL to realize that uh, maybe they made a mistake and they should have just been happy with the Golden Goose, which is EA all along, because at least EA uh, was paying its bills on time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more update videos as they come along, as information becomes apparent, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.